It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben. Now let's dive in. So I'm not going to go through a bunch of charts today. We're going to take a look at some charts, but I want to talk about what directions we could be moving in the crypto market because those trend lines that we were watching, that upward momentum we were starting to get on a lot of these cryptos cracked overnight, as most of you probably already know. But we've come back down to the support areas that we expected. Like Bitcoin is holding up that 33,000 as of now. I'm not super concerned yet, but looking at the daily charts, if we take the drawings off, we are very bearish on Bitcoin. The 20 day is way below these other EMAs. Every time it's pulled away from the 200 day, it has came back up to it. So we're probably going to continue to consolidate sideways with these pops up, these bounces off of support areas. But if we continue to test these supports, these bottom area supports, we very easily could continue with a sell off. We've been looking at four hour charts and the way that you look at EMAs on the different time frames is the longer the time frame, the stronger those EMAs are. So on a, whim, a one minute chart, which we'll take a look at Bitcoin on the one minute, you can see where the price is all over, up, down, above all of these EMAs because they're not that strong on that small of a time frame. We go out to a 15 minute chart, we'll start to see a little bit more strength in the EMAs. So we're looking at Bitcoin on the 15 minute chart. The 100 day moving average is right there as resistance where this candle got held up at, where we couldn't break over 33 and you see the 50 day right here where we got rejected off of and you can see the price stays around the 20 day at all times even when it pulls off the 20 day up or down it'll come back to it but like i said the longer the time frame the stronger the ema is. so we go out and look at the four hour now you can start to see where the price overall is really moving with these emas the emas are acting as strong support strong resistance in areas for a little while like here we jumped up and we was above the 200 day there for you know almost a day because each candle is four hours but we finally got rejected so when we go all the way out on the daily chart this is where the emas are the strongest at unless you go even further into a weekly chart but most traders just use a daily chart and the price rode all the way up to 20 bouncing off of the 50 these emas hold up as very strong support and resistance on the daily and they also will tell you a very strong prediction of the price action and when the emas are like this where we don't have the 20 at the top and we're going 20 50 100 200 this is a total reverse opposite this is a bearish sign that we could continue to sell off so the daily chart is going to be the most important chart to look at if we're trying to predict which way the price is going to go on cryptocurrencies or stocks or any assets for that matter. So we've been looking at that four hour because once the EMAs are lined up on the four hour, once the price is above on the four hour, then it can become bullish on the daily chart. And once we're bullish on the daily chart, that is when the big rips can come, the big climbs. So we are still pretty bearish and Bitcoin not able to get back up over this 20 day the last couple of days. We were building this nice momentum up on this little triangle here, uh, but got rejected and coming back down. That is a concern and that happened on a lot of the coins. So the coins that look like this on the chart where you've got these bearish EMAs on the daily, those possibly could drop even more like we could possibly see at this point the way this is looking bitcoin down to twenty five thousand if we do not hold this 33 and thirty thousand area now i think we're going to hold it that's what i've been saying i knew if those trend lines cracked thirty three thousand would hold and that's what we're testing right now is the thirty three thousand support uh, and then we know that thirty thousand is really strong because across here, all of these candles hit at the 30,000. Bitcoin may have to consolidate for a while now 
you know, maybe a week or two, maybe even a month. Uh, in this 30,000 to 40,000 area before it can ever break out to get back up to the 50,000 area because it just is so bearish right now on the daily chart. Now we take a look at Ether. It's a different story and that's what I've been saying. On the four hour you can see it, but on the daily chart you can really see it. Ethereum has been above all the EMAs for a very long time until this last big drop, but the EMAs have not lined up like they have on Bitcoin. So this is bearish formation and Ethereum is not bullish, it's consolidating and it's kind of bearish but we don't have the 20 at the very bottom. The 200 is at the bottom which is where it needs to be. So as long as the 200 holds on Ethereum then we can easily start coming back up for a rip. That's why I'm more bullish on Ethereum and the altcoins that kind of follow Ethereum like Cardano. Once we see the 20 day on Ethereum cross over the blue and yellow EMAs, the 50 and the 100 day, once that 20 can cross those, the theorem will be back full bullish. And it's not done that. It's not been above the EMAs except one time back here in June. And that was a very short-lived couple of days before it got rejected and pushed back down. So the 200 day is at 2,000. 2,000 is also held up as very strong support. I expect that to continue to hold on Ethereum, but we are making lower lows on the daily chart so we need to start seeing movement up back up to these previous candles here and a test of those when that happens it should show it on the chart the 20 is crossing but looking at bitcoin versus ethereum ethereum looks more likely to go on a run before bitcoin does bitcoin looks like it's got a lot more consolidation ethereum is not that far from being bullish again on the daily chart and starting to make another move up. Cardano, you can see, is actually looking even better than Ethereum as far as how it's holding up because all three of these EMAs are right there where the price is currently. So Cardano just is so close to breaking. It tried multiple times to break over that 145, and that's what is holding it down is that 145 and that 50 day moving average. Cardano could drop all the way back down to $1.13 where this 200 is over the next couple of days if. We don't see some type of buying come back into the markets. But if Cardano holds up and we do get buying, Cardano will be bullish on the chart. It's not that far away from it. Let's see like Dash here. It kind of follows Bitcoin. Super bearish, 20 below all the EMAs. Um, that can just continue on. It can't. It has not been able to break above the 20 days since it's been in this dip. And until it does, it's going to continue to ride down. So we know this crypto market can change at any time because it's always open and there's always news headlines and there's always other countries at different times buying and selling and maybe they get some news that we don't hear and that gets them to buy into it this market can change very very quickly so even though we are looking pretty dim on bitcoin ethereum is looking a little rough that could all change in a split second i haven't seen any major major headlines to make the crypto market drop, but I've seen a lot of trash articles trying to diss cryptos. Like one I read earlier was saying that cryptos have a marketing problem where they're causing people to ape into cryptos. Well, the apes are mainly on AMC, which is a stock. They don't even have the right terminology for what they're talking about in that article. So mainstream media in the US is not that trustworthy. I don't know how it is in the rest of the world. Let me know in the comments if you're from another country and you're having as much corruption in your country right now as we are here. But the media works pretty much for the government and the big corporations that are all in cahoots. And they are dissing cryptos right now uh, with a lot of headlines because they don't want cryptocurrencies to overtake the dollar and become a legitimate currency because if they can't control the currency then they have no power other than the force of gun and they don't want to go down that route because there's way too many of us so these articles these garbage articles are going to scare new investors out of cryptos because they don't know any better they don't understand what is going on with these blockchains and the technology and the goals of what the whole entire cryptocurrency community is trying to do which scares the bejesus out of all the governments uh, all the big governments 
cryptos are the answer to taking that power back from them controlling the currency to nobody controlling the currency, which is what it should be. So expect more of that to come. The long-term road for cryptos is going to be a bumpy one because cryptos have some battles that they got to prove themselves in. And, if, and so far, Bitcoin has really showed... Uh, a lot of strength, Ethereum too. This is the future and a lot of us are going to adopt it whether our overlords want us to or not. <laughs> and I'm not trying to get all doomy and gloomy or all, any of that, but you do a little bit of economic research and the money all leads to the same uh, hypothesis you're going to come to. And now more than ever, we need decentralized currency to combat what could be coming for all of us. So continue to expect hit piece articles, continue to expect politicians and government officials and probably the Federal Reserve all talking crazy, dissing cryptocurrencies. I mean, El Salvador made Bitcoin illegal tender and most of the headlines that I saw in America was El Salvador is going to ruin their economy because they adopted Bitcoin. El Salvador didn't have a currency. Their currency was the U.S. dollar. Well, if you look at a U.S. dollar chart, the U.S. dollar chart has been in a downtrend for 20 years. So I think it was a smart idea because Bitcoin has been on an uptrend for the last 10 years. So you hear the talking, but when you do your own due diligence and research, you can see that that's just talking, that's just fear-mongering, things like that. They're trying to keep as many people out of the cryptocurrency markets because it's growing and growing and growing. So I'll get back to covering more coins tomorrow. I just felt like with the pullback today and seeing the kind of bad garbage news articles and all that stuff that I wanted to give my thoughts on what direction we may be going uh, because we're still not in a definite direction. We're, we were looking good. Now we're back looking like we're consolidating. When you're consolidating the crypto stock, whatever the asset is, is either going to break up out of that consolidation or break down. So we've got to be prepared for any case scenario at the moment as we are still not bullish on any of these daily charts. So if there's currently any coins that I'm not covering on a weekly basis, leave them in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on everything I talked about today and what you think about cryptocurrencies in the future. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.